This is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. Today I'm going to answer a question that I got over from YouTube. What we have over here on YouTube, the question is, the, the video I have here is on adding HTML code to WordPress. And in this video I'll be showing how to add HTML code in the sidebar, how to add it in your post. And this comment, just more time, sometimes you might need to add it someplace else in your theme. And in this, the question was, is, I'd like to make all my articles on my WordPress copy and paste protected. I know and have the HTML code for this. What I'd like to learn from you is where I can place the code in the header. The footer head, if you know, as I cannot find it. Thank you kindly. And that's a very good question there. And um, a lot of times it is handy to be able to put code into the header and the footer a few years back, I did that quite a bit on WordPress. And right now, I don't do it so much. You're actually adding it to the theme that you have, that code. And then when you go in and you change your theme, it's going to change your, um, that code won't be there anymore. It's only in that particular theme. If you upgrade your theme, you might lose that that you put in too. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where to add some code to the footer here, and then I'm going to show you another solution. Okay, here I'm in the dashboard, and I have some things that I'm working on. Currently, I have my spam filter for the day uh, turned off. That's why you're seeing all these coming in. Um, but anyway, you want to go to Appearance, and you want to go to Editor. And this is where you edit the um, files for your theme that you're using. I'm using Weaver 2 here. I have other ones there. I could switch it and I could edit one of the other ones I have there. And you see these down here. These are all the names of all the different, these are each individual files as part of your theme. And so what you want to do is you want to find one that says footer, one that says header. And a lot of times there are people like, at one time, we would need to add our Google Analytics code, tracking codes, various different things, in to these um, header and the footer. And we don't really need to do that so much now. But you may still have a chance to do that. And this is the file that you would add some information, the content to. And like in this case, we have the footer. And I like to add it right towards the end, just before that closed body tag. I would go in there, and I would, I wouldn't type insert code here, but I would copy and paste whatever code you're adding right here. Make sure it's between this sign and this sign, not in the middle. This is a complete tag with the, that's open tag, that's kind of like a close, it's got like your body name, and that closes over here. So, but you kind of want to have all these together. You don't want to break it up. You don't want to put your code in the middle of here because it won't work. So at the end of that one, and at the beginning of this one, go ahead and put your code in. You want to go to the header, you do kind of the same thing. You go to the header file, and again, because you have some things here and some PHP code, you don't want to stick it in the middle of a piece of code, some other code, and they may you know, they're going to mess each other up if you do that. So I just go on down again to the bottom. Uh, unless you've got directions to do it differently somehow. And I would just, um, right before here, I'd add it right here, just before the close header. And put that in there. You can have it up there towards the top of your header. But anyway, that's where I like to put it. And then after you add it to your footer of the header, you're going to have to... Um, Save it. Looking for my save button. You click the update file button. Now, when your theme changes or updates, you're going to lose this code you put in there, and that's why plugins are made. And you can use plugins to do, if you use a plugin that does what you need to do, use the plugin instead. And then when you change themes or update your themes, you don't lose your work. There's a plugin right here. This plugin is called Word WP. Copy Protect, Protect Your Blog Posts. And what it does is when you go in there, you put Disable the White Click. And you can leave a message saying Right Click Disable. 